Not just the Amen, amen. Bless God. Welcome to Life in Christ International Church. Welcome to our Sunday school hour. The Lord has been blessing our church for these 30 days. The Lord has been ministering to our church about divine worship. Oh, what a gift from God. What, what, what a tangible experience of God's divine goodness and God's divine grace that he would lead our church in this prophetic season to spend time in his word, gleaning and learning about divine worship. If you haven't already, I do encourage you. You go back, take a look at our end of month message that teaches us about divine worship revealed. If you haven't already, I encourage you, go back, look at our uh, weekly Bible study. It teaches us about divine worship through God's character, through God's nature through God's essence. Just last Thursday, the Lord ministered to our church about divine worship experience. And so as we close out this month of divine worship, and you all hear me say it all the time, this prophetic season doesn't end at the end of this 30 days. The, the, the word of God on divine worship doesn't end after this month of, of September. Our God is the Alpha. Our God is the Omega. He's the beginning and the end. And so his word is transcending from generation to generation. His word is transcending from season to season. What a good, good God we serve. And so I needed to say that this morning before we get into our Sunday school hour. But I also wanted to remind us of how prophetic this time in our church and in our lives is. And so as we prepare to go into our, our, our Sunday school time, which is teaching us about worship uh, in community, we recognize that, that this is an eternal time in and with the Lord and we thank God for this space. We thank God for our church. We thank God for this time. Father, in the matchless and mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we love you. Lord God, we bless you. Lord God, we praise you. Lord God, we thank you. And Father, as we go into our Sunday school time, be with us. Help us, O oh great God. May the anointing lift up off of the word of God into our spirit, into our lives. Cause us, oh great God, to continue to come into the fullness of your glory. May your anointing be upon the reading of your word this morning. May your anointing be upon the reading of our Sunday school lesson. Help us, oh great God, to be in the right place at the right time for the right reasons with the right people doing the right things. We give your name all the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. We bless the Lord this morning, um, and, and, and that's a privilege. We honor and praise and thank God this morning. That's a gift. We do not in any way take that for granted. This morning, our Sunday School lesson is teaching us about Moses and Miriam lead. The Sunday School lesson says lead in praise. Our devotional reading for this Sunday school time is coming from uh, Psalms 104, verse 1 through 9. We know that our devotional reading, it sets up the, the, the our hearts and, and, and prepares our, our spirit for what our Sunday school lesson will teach us. Our background scripture for our Sunday school lesson is in Exodus chapter 14, verse 21 through 31, and Exodus chapter 15, verse 1 through 21. 
Now this morning, we're only going to be reading during our Sunday school time out of Exodus chapter 15, verse 1 through 3. And then Exodus chapter 15, verse 11 through 13, 17 through 18, and then 20 through 21. So I'm saying all that to say, if you haven't read the Brown scripture in its entirety, I do encourage that you take some time to go back and read the background scripture that helps set uh, uh, the foundation and it gives full context of what our Sunday school lesson is teaching us about Moses and Miriam lead in praise. We have two lesson outlines to cover together this morning. The first one is the song introduced, Exodus chapter 15, verse 1 through 3. The second lesson outline is the song continued, Exodus chapter 15, verse 11 through 13, verse 17 through 18, verse 20 through 21. Our key text, and we're going to read that in just a second. It sets the foundation for our time together here during Sunday school. Is Exodus chapter 15, verse 20. We're going to recap, hit the highlights of our two lesson outlines. We're going to share our weekly announcements, and then we are going to close out our time together. With that, let's get right into our key text. Our key text, and I want to give you just a few minutes to turn in your Bibles to Exodus 15. It's Exodus 15, verse 20. We know we call this our foundational text that, that sets the tone and, and the foundation for our Sunday school time together. In the King James Bible, it reads, And Miriam, the prophetess, the sister of Aaron, took a timbrel in her hand. And all the women went out after her with timbrels and with dances. A Sunday school lesson is teaching us about worship in the covenant community. And here, our foundation, foundational text reminds us that, that there was a worship instrument, and, and I'm giving us a gist of this, and that worship instrument was used, it, it, it was activated, and then not only uh, uh, Miriam the, process, uh, the prophet is taking time to worship the, the scripture, our foundational verse reminds us that there was a group of women that joined and, and began to worship as well with their timbrel, their worship instrument, and with dance. Listen, listen, listen. And this is what I'll say. And I love the goodness of God. And so, um, of course, every uh, uh, Sunday morning and every Thursday evening, our church, we, we have our church services. But, but here's the thing. Some people say, and, and I pray that you all can get this. Some people say less is more. And, and, and if you're running your mouth, you would miss out that less is indeed more. <laughs> and and I'm, I'm getting to a point here. Some people say that, that, that the quieter you are, the more that you hear. And here's the thing. When the Lord God is active in your life, you don't have to do a thing. And, and I can reference scripture that, 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 that tells us this battle is not ours, it's the Lord's. Um, I, I could uh, 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 tell us that, that in the scripture where it says, uh, 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 I must decrease so that he might increase. But but I'm saying all this to say I was I was getting ready one day and um really quiet and and <laughs> for the last couple of days and our church is in in a season of worship and and this is how funny God is. For the last couple of days, I could hear my neighbor singing at the top of her lungs worship songs. <laughs> And here's the thing, a lot of times we be looking for God one way, you know, we, we be looking for him to, to do something like right where we can say, see, aha, but in that still small, quiet time, like I'm, I'm coming out of the bathroom and my poor neighbor uh, through the wall is singing worship at the top of her lungs. Why? Because of who God is. Why? Yes, our church is in a time of worship and, and the spirit of God is spilling out into my neighbor. 
but that's who God is. It's not about us getting accolades. It's not about us getting credit. And you hear me declare it all the time, all glory and all honor and all praise goes to God. If only for 30 days, that young woman's life is affected to sing worship songs. We know God is an eternal God. Who he is is for an eternity. And, and that's how sometimes God's work, God works. And so the Lord may have you singing worship songs on your way to work. You might be in the grocery store singing worship songs. And, and it brings a divine change for all eternity in someone else's life. Why? Not because of us, but because of who God is. And so this morning, even as we start off our Sunday school lesson, as it teaches us about worship in the covenant community, you may be minding your business, worshiping God, and somebody else's life is eternally changed. That's the kind of God we serve. We have two lesson outlines to cover this morning. The song introduced Exodus 15, verse 1 through 3. The song continued Exodus 15, verse 11 through 13, verse 17 through 18, and verse 21, 20 through 21. Let's get right into the reading of the word of God. Turn with me in your Bibles, if you haven't already, to Exodus chapter 15. We're reading our first lesson outline, Exodus 15, verse 1 through 3. The song introduced in the King James Bible, Exodus 15, verse 1 through 3 reads, Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Lord, and spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord. For he hath triumphed gloriously, the horse and his rider hath he thrown into the sea. Verse 2, The Lord is my strength and song. And he is become my salvation. He is my God and I will prepare him an habitation. My father's God and I will exalt him. Verse three, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Brethren, that they may do according to the word of the Lord by the hand of Moses. I love how the word of God helps us to see the Lord God in such a greater way. The word of God helps us to see the Lord in his fullness, in his wholeness. Our Sunday school lesson, uh, the very first lesson outline is teaching us about the song introduced. It reminds us that, that Moses sang with the children of Israel a song, a song unto the Lord. And, and, and they, in the song they're declaring, in this introduction song, they're declaring the Lord is their strength and their worship. The Lord is their salvation. They're, they're, they're declaring uh, 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 the, 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 the foundation of this song and, and, and the foundation of uh, 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 their faith and their salvation and strength. The verse says, my father's God and I will exalt him. I, I love how, how, uh, 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 this very first lesson outline introduces God not just on a straight plane, but in a fullness. It says, the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Listen, listen, listen. The same God that gives us strength and worship, the same God that gives us worship, the same God that our ancestors, our fathers worshiped and served. He's a man of war, and the Lord is his name. Listen, listen, listen. What a gift from God that the Lord would help us this morning in our worship, in the soundness of our worship, in the soundness of God and who God is. And what a gift that we can participate in, 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 in singing songs unto God, not to get anything, but because of, of just how good God has been to us. And so this very first lesson outline 
the song introduced, it introduces us to, to, to this song of worship that Moses and the children of Israel sing unto the Lord. And, and listen, the, our very first lesson outline shows us that it is the Lord's triumphant, he's triumphant and glorious. <laughs> I, I don't want us to think that uh, this is something that we take lightly. This is a privilege. This is an opportunity before the Lord. And so our Sunday school lesson teaches, it says the use of the English word Lord with small caps indicates that the underlying Hebrew term reflects God's self-designation as revealed to Moses. Its use in this verse highlights that the song is directed to none other than the only true and great God who had previously revealed himself to Moses. Our Sunday school lesson teaches the song praises the Lord for the ways he triumphed over Pharaoh and his army and thereby received honor. Our Sunday school lesson teaches the horse and the rider refer to parts of Pharaoh's army, although his horses were considered all powerful in their day. They paled in comparison to the power of the Lord. Our Sunday school lesson teaches it says the Lord's power was on display by casting the Egyptians' armies into the waters of the sea. Through this powerful act, the Lord eliminated the most powerful military force of that era and showcased his unparalleled greatness. As a result, the enemy was incapable of a return attack on the Israelites. The Lord utterly destroyed the enemy. The Lord utterly destroyed the enemy. And, and I love how our Sunday school lesson teaches it. Our Sunday school lesson simply says, as a result, I'm going to reread it. The enemy was incapable of a return attack on the Israelites. How is it? that the Lord would show us himself as the Lord, a man of war in his word. How is it that the Lord would show us how he handles the enemy when he fights on our behalf, utterly destroyed? I'm gonna read it again. The Sunday school lesson says the enemy was incapable of a return attack on the Israelites. I keep reading that because I need us to know we remain about our father's business. Don't get distracted by what the enemy did. Don't get distracted by what the enemy's trying to do. Now, I'm not saying to go and, and leave your guards down. I'm not saying go and be foolish. Arm yourself with the word of God. Arm yourself with the power of the Holy Spirit. That's what I'm saying. But at the same time, not don't rehearse that. Let that not be your focus. Let worship in the Lord and for the Lord be your focus. This is what our Sunday school lesson points us to this morning. The song introduced. This is what our Sunday school lesson shows us as, as the as the 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 power in worship, the power of worship, the source of our worship. What, what, what a profound way to, to spend time in our Sunday school learning about worship in the covenant community. And, and I don't want us to think that this song that's introduced during our Sunday school lesson is far from us. We just sing it a different way. Hmm. Sometimes we stomp our feet and clap our hands. Sometimes we just lift our hands up in awe and amazement and wonder. Sometimes we just don't have words to, to speak. Sometimes it's, it's, it's a groan or, or it's a roar. 
And so the song introduced is not far from us. In this day and age, we still offer it unto the Lord. That's the gift that the Lord provides and continues to provide. Let's go into our second lesson outline. Our second lesson outline is teaching about teaching us about the song continued. Read with me, if you would, in the word of God, Exodus, where we're going to be skipping around a little bit. Exodus chapter 15, verse 11 through 13, verse 17 through 18, and then verse 20 through 21. Exodus chapter 15, verse 11 through 13 reads, Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods, who is like thee, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises, doing wonders? Verse 12, Thou stretcheth out thy right hand, the earth swallowed them. Thou and thy mercy hath led forth the people which thou hast redeemed. Thou hast guided them in thy strength unto thy holy habitation. Verse 17 and 18. Thou shalt bring them in and plant them in the mountain of thine inheritance. In the place, O Lord, which thou hast made for thee to dwell in. In the sanctuary, O Lord, which thy hands have established. The Lord shall reign forever and ever. Verse 20 through 21. And Miriam, the prophetess, the sister of Aaron, took a timbrae in her hand, and all the women went out after her with timbrae and with dances. Verse 21. And Miriam answered them, Sing ye to the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider hath he thrown into the sea. I think a lot of times when, and I think you all hear me say it uh, uh, often, I think a lot of times when we read the word of God, it doesn't hit close to home, meaning when we read it, we'd be like, oh, wow, that's awesome. That happened like that a long time ago. Like that was just for that time. That was just for what God was doing then. The word of God teaches us that the God is this, God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He's the same. And I know the songwriter sings it, <laughs> um, but he is indeed the same God today. And, and so so this morning I encourage, it's not like we're going to snap our fingers and then the Lord is going to, no, it's, 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 it's growing in, in the fullness of God. It is, it is us cultivating uh, this place in and with the Lord, but it is indeed the same God. And, and so our Sunday school lesson positions us to teach us that the song continues. So Moses began in his worship. The enemy is defeated. We, we know the story. Uh, 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 Pharaoh was chasing after Moses. Moses had to tell Pharaoh, let my people go. We, we know the gist of the story. And, and Pharaoh, in all of his, and, and listen, we still have the, the utterly wicked people still in function and operation today. So, so again, let us not take this, this lesson lightly. But what ended up happening, they set out after God's people. They set out to kill, to steal, and to destroy, and, and hurt, and maim, and attack God's people. And God opened up the sea and consumed them. And the scripture, uh, our, our second lesson outline shows us that Miriam picks up the timbre and she begins worship and then the women pick up their timbre and they begin worship and dancing with her and 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 hear this in your soul this morning and Miriam answered them sing ye to the Lord for he hath triumphed gloriously the horse 
and his rider have he thrown into the sea. That's the kind of God we serve. That's the kind of God that is in operation over and in and through our lives, no matter what we face. Keep in your worship. Keep in your praise. Even in the midst of imminent danger, that's the most important time, if, if, if you can't hear me this morning. What a powerful lesson for us this morning as the Lord teaches our church during our Sunday school hour about worship in the covenant community. As the Lord teaches our church this morning about Moses and Miriam lead in praise. And, and it, it's, it's, a, it's a divine faith on the inside. It's, 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 it's the Holy Spirit revealing to us on the inside that enables us, that equips us, that, that gives us the, the, the wherewithal to, to lift up worship unto God, even in the midst of the most impossible thing. Why? Because of who we are, not so much, but yes, indeed, because of all of who God is. And we honor God for this lesson this morning. We honor God for this time this morning. This, this is something that we may not exercise in our high times when things are perfect, when all things are going well. But what about when, and in those times, and in those days when things aren't on point, we can spend time in worship before the Lord. As we close out our Sunday school time this morning, our Sunday school lesson prayer is, is right on point for us this morning. And this prayer carries us uh, this week. It says, Lord God, we thank you for the example of worship and song presented in scripture. Help us be further attentive to your spirit so that we might sing to you in all situations, good or bad. In the name of your son, Jesus, we pray. Amen. That's how our Sunday school lesson ends this morning. As it taught us about two lesson outlines, the song introduced Exodus chapter 15, verse 1 through 3. The song continued, Exodus 15, verse 11 through 13, verse 17 through 18, verse 20 through 21. The song introduced showed us the fullness of who God is through worship. The scripture says Moses sang a song and, and the children of Israel sang and, 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 and danced that, that, that presented to us the fullness of God. And, and, and it, it, it offered us a, a, a good eye view of where we are in the Lord, God, our salvation. A, a God, the, the God of our ancestors. God presenting who he is through, as our Sunday school lesson taught us, triumphant and glorious victory. And then the second lesson outlined, the song continued. So, so, so after the sea swallowed up the enemy, his chariots and his horses, Miriam began to, she picked up the timber and began to worship. And all the women along with her, they picked up the timber and they began to worship and dance. We understand the song introduced where we come into the fullness of God. We understand the song continued, where, where one person in, 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 in their worship caused others to pick up and worship. The song continued. May the song of the Lord continue in our life, in our walk, in our relationship with him. And that's where we close out our Sunday school time this morning. This is what I have to say. Thank you all for being a special part of Life in Christ International Church. Please do and govern, govern yourselves uh, accordingly. Uh, uh, we are shifting uh, uh, this Sunday. Uh, we're shifting this Thursday evening into a brand new series at our church. The Lord is ministering to our church 
in the month of October about the divine strength of God. And so I want you all to be a part of that. Our men, they still have their mid, uh, 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 weekly Bible study. They're meeting tomorrow night at 7.30 p.m. We thank God for Pastor Samson and his diligence and faithfulness to the task. And um, our end of month worship for our church in the month of October will be on Sunday, October 20th. What that means for our church at 10 a.m., we have our Sunday school time. And after Sunday school, we go into our end of month worship. God bless you all. We praise and thank God for our time of worship. We praise and thank God for each and every one of you. May the fullness of God's glory continue to manifest itself in your life in your family's life, in your nation, in your community. God bless you all, and we'll see you Thursday night.